Um, what you need to know um, is a tech enthusiast with a deep-rooted passion for gaming that spans decades. I've witnessed numerous legal battles within the industry, but this one between Pocket Pair and Nintendo over down for a while and the audience team of a, uh, the fact that these patents were filed after the game's release uh, raises eyebrows, uh, making it seem more like a case of opportunistic patenting uh, rather than genuine innovation protection. Uh, since Nintendo uh, filed a lawsuit against Pocket Air over alleged copyright violations in the widely played Xbox Game Pass Game Pal world, there's been lots of discussion in the industry about the specific patents at issue. Um, now that it's been confirmed, this case isn't about character designs. People are curious about uh, what exactly Nintendo is aiming to protect. Uh, today, Pocket Pair revealed the exact game mechanics that uh, uh, Nintendo claims um, violate its patents. Uh, interestingly, these patents were submitted only after Power World was released on January 19th. Uh, Nintendo is demanding 5 million yen in damages, uh, plus late fees for both Nintendo and the Pokemon company, totaling 10 million yen or approximately 65,548 US dollars. Uh, report on patent infringement, uh, lawsuit TBS talk about and uh, tco slash t dot co slash is4uk. Uh, the statement reads, <clears throat> Report on patent infringement lawsuit. On September 19th, 2024, the Pokemon Company and Nintendo Co. Limited, referred to as the plaintiffs hereafter, filed a patent infringement lawsuit against us concerning our game, Pal World, released on January 19th, 2024. And uh, here's an update on this ongoing legal matter. Um, so three patents in total, and here's what they are. And why, why Nintendo can do this. Uh, so here's the, the full breakdown of the patents in question as stated. Um, in connection with the lawsuit, Nintendo is demanding compensation from Pocket Pair uh, due to the use of these systems, even though the patents were uh, registered after PAL World's release. And the question arises as to whether this legal strategy is valid. And uh, to gain further insight, I contacted Florian Mueller, a patent expert and frequent contributor to Windows Central who has offered valuable insights on this case in the past. And, um, Muller, author of IP Fray, um, explained that Nintendo is employing a parent patenting system. Uh, here, Nintendo asserts an earlier claim on the patent rights, uh, yet strategically submitted subsequent patent applications um, intended to cover aspects similar to Power World uh, indeed, it's entirely lawful, although some might find it a bit sneaky. Uh, different countries have distinct patent regulations, such as the U.S., which provides a one-year grace period after disclosure for filing patents. Uh, uh, on the other hand, Japan operates on a first-to-file system, awarding patents to the first person who submits an application regardless of when the invention was revealed. The uh, filing patents after a game's debut is legal, provided it falls within uh, the specified time frames success. Uh, although Nintendo's actions are technically compliant with the law, there have been discussions about the moral implications of their strategy. Uh, as some gamers perceive it as an attempt to monopolize certain gameplay elements and undermine Power World, which has seen remarkable success on Xbox Game Pass, particularly since its recent introduction to PlayStation exclusively in regions other than Japan.